Okay, <laughs> the things I do for my job. <laughs> What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is very exciting and I know I always say that when I introduce every video, but I mean it when I introduce every video. It's exciting because I got to go shoot with the new iPhone 11. Look at this beauty. Oh, yellow in all her glory. Okay, so I basically just wanted to test out the iPhone 11 and the Moment 18 millimeter wide lens, which is a world favorite. It's a bestseller for a reason. Um, and as you know, the new iPhone 11 models have their own built-in ultra wide lens, but there are still a few reasons why your Moment 18 millimeter is gonna beat out that built-in wide. I basically just went out and I shot, I shot on the street, and then I shot in the studio in a very hectic, kind of crazy morning which you'll see what happened if you continue watching. But to say the least, even working under insane time limits, um, I am so excited with what I got and I really can't wait to show you. Uh, we'll go over some of the images in this video um, so we can look at things like dynamic range and sharpness and all that. So I think that's it, let's do it. Okay, so of course this whole test is for overall quality, right? Um, so the first thing you need to know about the iPhone 11's built-in ultra-wide is that that aperture is about 2.4, which means you're losing significant amounts of light compared to the primary camera, which has an aperture of 1.8. Um, so if you slap your 18 millimeter moment wide over the primary camera, you're gonna be able to utilize that aperture of 1.8 instead of switching over to the built-in and therefore losing quality. So that definitely kind of encapsulates a huge reason why the Moment Wide Lens is still very useful with these new iPhone models. Um, overall quality is simply just gonna be a little bit better. All in all, this definitely means that throwing your Moment Wide onto the primary camera of any iPhone 11 model is going to allow you to shoot a lot better in low light situations. So to test this out, I went over to the Cathedral of Learning here in Pittsburgh it's absolutely gorgeous um, so I kind of waltzed around enjoyed myself and took some photos on the wide and the super fish and uh, you can see for yourself how she did after visiting the cathedral I went out and hit downtown Pittsburgh and the strip district of Pittsburgh to see how this puppy would handle really harsh light and see how the dynamic range would do all right let me pull one of these up Okay, so this was a fun little test. This abandoned building had wild bright light coming in directly on the brick and then super harsh shadows from kind of the rest of the building itself. And you'll see zoomed in, it lifts the shadows really nicely actually. And those highlights are not blown out whatsoever. Um, so the dynamic range here is really impressive to me. All right, and then this bike rack is also one of my favorites from the day. Again, really testing out dynamic range here. Um, even unedited, this photo is beautiful. Um, and that's how you know you're working with a good camera. And as you can see by the rest of these, I am really intrigued by lines and color right now. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, overall, the camera did great on the street and in really, really, really harsh conditions. Um, but I really did want to test it in the studio setting because you know me, I love portraits and I'll shoot portraits even if I can only use a wide lens. <laughs> so I had this whole beautiful monochrome, like skin tone, very minimalist shoot planned out. And instead of rambling on about what went on, I actually vlogged it for you live. So let's rewind back to this morning. Hello YouTube. Um, we are having a bit of a fire drill today. Uh, today was the day I was supposed to shoot two of my friends. So I just got two text messages <laughs> saying, I don't feel well, I can't come. They're the only two people I know in Pittsburgh. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm considering shooting some self-portraits, set up a scene, and maybe try shooting some Bluetooth remote wide lens portraits on the iPhone 11 of myself. 
I don't know, maybe I'll dress up or something. I don't know, this is a fire drill and honestly I work pretty well under pressure like this, so let's do it. <laughs> This is the one. I'm gonna do this and that orange hat. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, those will be great together. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Okay. okay, so I got some really cool pieces at Eons, which is just like a vintage costume store. So I'm just playing dress up. I have some yellow kind of seamless paper. I'm gonna straighten my hair. I don't know, I don't know, let's see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So I kind of um, annihilated the hat. Uh, I decided to get rid of all of that fluff um, to just make it a little more minimal and a little cleaner. All right, so we've got the beautiful iPhone 11 here and wow, that's a 3D rendered mount. So that's why I'm not getting a ton of B-roll of that. So I don't have a case yet. Um, so yeah, here's the iPhone 11 with the wide. Um, I'm obviously needing the Bluetooth remote since I'm shooting myself. Um, then I've got this LED video light lighting me um, a little bit from above and from the side. Um, I literally don't own any makeup myself. So I went to Walgreens and bought some lipstick um, and some eyelashes because I'm feeling dramatic today. I need to figure out how I'm gonna pose and how to make this look good and also how to film and shoot and model all by myself. Okay, so you'll see I changed the light source so that it's directly behind the lens now, so there will be no harsh shadows. Okay, hello, welcome back. Um, this is me freshly cleaned from my costume. I really do hate wearing makeup. I don't know how anybody does it. But that's besides the point. How did the iPhone 11 and the Moment Wide do in the studio? To say the least, I'm very stoked with how the camera is handling color, how it's handling really intense LED light, and of course, therefore, really, really deep shadows. Um, seriously, you guys, the camera is blowing me away so far. Um, I'm zooming in, everything is sharp and crisp. The colors look gorgeous. Um, you're seeing edited images on your screen, which is what I'm also looking at, and you do need to know I've added grain. I always do to all my photos, it's how I do it. This is one of my favorite from, this is just in the native app. The phone, as you can see, did an incredible job of capturing focus. I basically envisioned this photo exactly how it came out, which is cool. I wanted my face in focus and not my hand. And yeah, like the, the, the native camera just, I mean, it killed it on that. This is uh, probably one of my top three from the shoot just because it's so weird. My face looks so strange. Uh, it's fun shooting yourself because you have no idea what you look like until after and you're like, whoa, I'm a weirdo. I love that my sleeves and my wrists are right up in your face. 
um, and I'm, my face is actually set back, that's when a wide lens really does you a favor when shooting portraits, is if you can pose your model to really utilize that focal length. One of my favorite images from the entire shoot is this one. For a few reasons, I feel like my attitude kind of matches the costume, which took me a really long time to achieve. I would prefer this costume on someone else. Um, but mostly because of how sharp it is, this does not look like an iPhone photo to me at first glance whatsoever. And I think it's because it captured skin tone incredible here, and that really does speak to a huge benefit in shooting raw. This image was shot in raw. Um, and you'll see if you compare it to an image shot on the native app, say like this one, my skin is super blown out just because that LED was so strong. And um, yeah, the native app just isn't gonna handle that as well. This puppy is sharp. The colors are amazing. That shadow behind me isn't some ominous black hole. Again, it just, it doesn't look like an iPhone photo whatsoever. So all in all, all I have to say about the iPhone 11 and the Moment Wide, only good things. This pair is pretty darn magical. We already knew the iPhone 11 models have beastly cameras, uh, but these two as a pair, I don't know you guys, it's a good one. We're super excited, we're gonna keep testing. Uh, I'm gonna probably pair this up with the 58 millimeter next and do an entire portrait video for the channel. Um, so we're excited about what's to come. Uh, iPhone 11 rocks and that's it. See you in the next one.